Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Convoy. Let's go ahead and use the, uh, the one of the three MCVs that we haven't taken out yet, the SRS Mobile Command Vehicle. Very high shield initially on this guy. We'll try it out. Apologies for the, uh, delay between episodes here. Been taking care of some IRL stuff. You know, spending time with family and all that. But I am back here with Convoy, and I don't plan on stopping it anytime soon. Unless, of course, all hope is lost, and I become the worst Convoy player in the history of mankind, and I'm forced to commit Sudoku in order to redeem my family of the shame. Looks like a strange Torvac beacon is emitting a radio signal. The beacon houses some impressive-looking hardware. So just taking it apart for parts. I remember this blowing up in my face literally the last time I tried. Alright. <laughs> oh man, I can't- you can't say I didn't call it, but... Whether or not I'm happy about that, that's still up for debate. Been scanned by Torvac security forces. Evidently, they don't seem happy with the way you are armed. And decide that you are not worth keeping around. Ooh, these are some uh, pretty wide open vehicles here, though. What do we got? Oh, this just activates. Okay. Well, that's a little different. Not exactly what I thought that was, but I guess it's something that I can use kind of effectively here. In fact, why don't we just do that? Is that not what I should be doing all the time? Just continually have that shield activated? Okay, it's on a little timer. Oh, goodness, I'm getting mined to death here, too. All right, hold up. Switch it around, switch around. Don't let these guys start bullying me this early on. Oh, nope. Stay there, stay there, you freaking rascal. Alright, well this is not an easy first fight. That's for damn sure. I'm cer certainly missing out on the extra damage that my MCV used to present, but... I guess we're gonna have to live with that. Okay, he should be going down. I need you to switch over to this. There we are. Ooh, nice dodge, actually. Alright, now we get both on this guy. Probably need to go in and get some early repairs, honestly. Because this is not looking that good. The shield does have a very long uh, recharge timer here, too, I guess, so... Ooh, man. We need a lot more offensive capability, and we need it fast. The buzzsaw is not really going to be the start we're looking for, as far as that's concerned. Let's check out where the nearest camp is. It's going to be over this way. Oh, man. Yeah, I guess I... I undervalued the... Missile launcher on that other convoy, I guess, that other MCV. We're a heavily armed convoy, state your business. We were just leaving the area. You come across a car with its driver killed. As you approach the invest to investigate, you hear loud engines coming your way. The attackers are back! Things never really seem that easy. If they're not even that easy, we're dead. We're bone. Ain't nothing we can do. And let the MCV take the uh, majority of the damage here, I guess, because that's pretty much the only option I have. Although that shield is certainly doing wonders here now, in that very regard. Hmm. I don't really want to even move up. I think I'd rather just try to get this guy dead, dead in the 1v1 situation. Oh, boy. This is not... This is not looking great. <laughs> I'm gonna have to make a mad dash to get some repairs done, I think. Oh, yeah, wow, we can't even... We can't even let that happen. Is he still attacking him? Yes, he is. Oh my god. Well, I don't want you to die, so I'm gonna need you to just keep running away forever. He's gonna kill him, isn't he? He's chasing him down. Yep, I just lost the vehicle. Alright, well. Can we, uh... Desperately try to get out of here? With this vehicle intact? Nope, we certainly can't. Okay, good start. Good start. <laughs> Great. Great freaking return to the game here. I don't think I like that vehicle, to be perfectly honest. I'd like to at least have some sort of offensive capability, although this one is a lot tankier. I don't think it's worth it. So let's go with this one, which I think is going to give me a better chance. My god. That was, uh... That was an undesirable beginning. To this return, quote-unquote, to convoy. That, that Sudoku may be closer than I thought it was. Let's see if I am indeed correct in making the assumption that... This extra missile launcher may be enough to make me feel a lot happier about the situation. Look at that! Oh my god, that's like a third of his health. This is what we were doing with a minute of action last time. Oh, that's totally gonna be the difference maker then. Look how quick it reloads too. Why would... No, this is... This is the clear priority. I'm gonna start actually upgrading the health and shields of my vehicles, by the way. I've, 
I think I've learned the value of that very, very quickly. Let's go ahead and switch targets here. There we go. Ooh, I could maybe ram him, actually. But then the guy could just do that. Then again, I could just launch a freaking missile at him. That would be good. To have that available. In place of a worthless shield. That makes me feel bad about myself. Oh, man. Maybe we got a good option here, too, actually. Yeah, they might be boned. Yep, they boned. Goodbye. That's a big explosion. 14 gas, 57 volts. Okay. Now. All these things. Let's check out the locations, I guess. All around the map. Huh. Okay, that's... Kind of bad. Hmm. Let's hit up some... Let's hit up some beacons. Come across a Raider Slaver Convoy. They are heavily armed, but appear more interested in continuing their way. Hmm. I don't know if we're capable of taking them down yet. We're in good enough shape, I think, that I could consider it. Let's radio them first. What do you damn fuckers want? Leave us before I'll be considering your merchandising and appropriate brand deals. We won't stand idly by while you practice slavery. Sounds like y'all need good old-fashioned discipline. The feeling is mutual. All right, we got to be really, really effective here. I think if I'm to assume that these guys are as heavily armed as the game would imply, let's maybe just try to kill him real fast. Take every single one down as quickly as possible. Although I am taking a ton of MCV damage already. All right, he's done. Let's swap over like this. I'm actually gonna try to drive all the way back to the back side. Keep his target there for now, since he can still do the damage. Launch missiles as frequently and as quickly as possible. Gonna keep moving back, and then I'm gonna switch targets over here so we can get this guy killed faster. We should be able to win this. We're gonna take a ton of damage here, but I can live with that, I guess. Ooh, that's a big missile barrage, too. Ooh, goodness. Alright, you're firing right there. You're gonna be just fine. You're gonna launch a quick missile, and then he should be done so. Pretty damn soon. There we go. Beautiful. A ballistic computer as well as a little bit of loot. You free the slaves from the transport vehicle. I'd like for them to work on the convoy. That would be preferable. The slaves are happy to oblige, and all these extra hands allow you to free up some parts that we used in automation. Sweet! Okay. That's an interesting perspective to have on it. Human beings give you more materials by way of replacing automated pro processes. Very, very sci-fi of you, convoy. Impressive. Okay, well, uh, I'll tell you what, we're gonna try to supercharge through this, thank God. I need to hustle up to a campsite here. Need those repairs going. Here we go. Check the shop real fast as well just to see what I can hold on to. A mine layer would not be bad to have on the MCV already. A light pulse laser and a medium plasma blaster. Which is very effective against armor, which is tempting. Oh, the repair drone. Now people were trying to tell me to use the drones the last time we had these. Can you use these offensively? Because it didn't seem like I could when I was trying to, but maybe I was just doing it wrong. I would not put that past me. Let's see, I can probably buy... I'll go ahead and buy the mine layer. It's only 40. That's not that expensive at all. And then, uh, these two combined actually would be pretty decent. I think I'm going to go ahead and buy the medium plasma blaster just to see if I can throw that on someone here. We can give the smoky duck the ballistic computer... And tell you what, let's try this combo out, actually. Let's see if I can do... Well, actually, hold on. How effective is this? It's effective against all types. I'm going to try to combine these two and see how effective that is on a single vehicle. So we'll give the, him the Light Pulse Laser and the Medium Plasma Blaster. And we'll see whether or not Red Wheel is capable of taking down both armor and health quickly. That'll be good. Oh, yeah, then the Mine Layer, of course. Let's get some upgrades going as well. Let's go ahead and buff up the health and the armor of the MCV right away. And let's give these guys some range. Range and handling. I like having both of those early on. Give them some extra mobility and space to stay clear of enemy fire. 
All right. Looks good to me. We're going to buy just a little bit of gas as we go out of here. Done. 74 gas. No more bolts, but got some pretty damn good upgrades out of that. Let's up another beacon. Boop. Signal originates from a Torvac checkpoint trying to radio your convoy. Hmm, please state your business here. They don't like it when I lie. We thank you for your cooperation. Now what? Data has been added. You may leave now. I don't like you having my data. The radio connection is cut immediately afterwards. A pitch black obelisk emerges from within the checkpoint. While several Torvac vehicles move out from within, the top of the obelisk seems to be pulsating with a deep red light. That does, it does indeed seem ominous. That's kind of terrifying. All right, let's go ahead and lay some mines. Starting out now. Boom. Change that target, and we're gonna stay pretty damn far from the, uh, from the enemies this time. Ooh, we might be able to hit both of these guys if he keeps moving up. I'm gonna have to change targets here. I don't know what I was doing with that. Boom, baby, there we go. All right, he's going down. Gonna switch over this way. Change targets there, too. Dealing a lot of MCV damage, but I think we'll be all right. Ah, uh, we're gonna take that hit. All right, try out another mine layer. Booyah. Gotta love that explosive damage, boy -o. Miss Launch! Boom! Oh my god! Oh my god, it's so good! Just those improvements made such a big deal. The checkpoint and its obelisk don't show any signs of life. You can try to approach it, Although you're not sure if that obelisk will start firing. Sure. The obelisk sends out the f a final armor-shredding shockwave before remaining dormant. Upon inspection of the checkpoint, you shut down the obelisk and all equipment and manage to recover an additional 45 bolts. Sweet. All right. Up to 120 now. Still not... Uh, ooh, hey, cool. A taunter. That's fun. All right. Still need a ton of help. So, where did I start from? Let's go... Let's go in the direction of one of these. That's pretty close. All right, here we go. Want to find an additional campsite too, so we can potentially see if there's uh, worthwhile upgrades to be purchased from within. Starting to near the northwest corner here, though. Foul stench in the wind. Terry longer. Turns out you've already tarried for too long as the source of the foul stench becomes evident. Several raider vehicles approach your convoy. They seem to be decorated with bodily remains. Let's do it. I'm ready. Oh, we need some more armor, but hey, we're gonna be just fine. We're gonna use these offensive capabilities early and often. That missed completely. All right, no worries. It's all good. I'm gonna get all the way up to the front of the vehicle. We're gonna try to bounce these guys a little further out so they're not directly within the line of fire. We'll let the MCV kind of take a few big hits right now. Because these guys need some help. Need some loving. Let's go like that. There we go. He's damaged. Easy damage, easy life. We're gonna try to launch a missile real quick to take these two down, potentially. Yeah, buddy! Oh, that's good! Alright, we need some help here, too. Yeah, we need to go to the nearest camp pretty damn soon. Get on there with your mobility now. Oh, he's moving back! He's moving back! Mine light. Oh my god, the power! The power of the MCV is real! Yes! So good in a cannon. The foul stench may soon clear up. So we got plenty of money again. Let's see where the nearest camp is. Probably behind me. Yeah. Oh, shit. I think I might have to... Yeah, I'm gonna have to turn back. Too big of a gamble not to just go back here and repair real fast. These guys are really hurting. Alright. Right off the beaten path. Into the camp. Quick repairs. Then we'll head back out. Boom, 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 boom. Ba-da-da-da. Dee-da-da-do. -da -da Sweet. Pretty good still. We've got 113 bolts left over from that. Let's head still directly. Oh, goodness. A lone figure wandering the wasteland. A blind man in brown robes. Straight at your convoy despite being blind and proclaims... Oh, the 5738. Get, I gotta remember that again. I'm gonna pull up my calculator app, actually. 5738. Oh, I forget that happens. <laughs> oh, we did the exact same thing last time. I'm a dumbass. Okay. 5738, that's the number we need to remember. And I believe that has something to do with, like, finding some buried treasure out in the mountains. Maybe we'll come across that. Oh, we're not going for the stem bolts here, we're going for the flux capacitor? Yep, that's the one. Professor's laboratory is here. 
Uh, you found me. I'm warning you. I've got my... We called this bluff last time. We can just shoot him. <laughs> That's probably not a great idea. Uh, I'm gonna try calming him down. After explaining you're stranded on Omec Prime and are in need of a flux capacitor, the professor looks a lot less panicked, although still slightly erratic. I see, I see, no revenge squad out to get me for lack of payment, excellent! A good thing, too, you might be surprised to learn that I was in fact bluffing about my mighty science weapon things. Flux capacitor, we're trying to assemble a regular road vehicle possible to the capacitor, your spaceship! I'll just take it from you. You surely wouldn't be able to live with such a horrid act. Think about your conscience! You know what? <laughs> yeah, that's hand it over. Folks around these wastelands are all the same. The professor produces a flux capacitor from within his laboratory, which you quickly load under your cargo, cargo bay. You leave the laboratory and this bumbling fool behind. How dickish of me. A half-buried metal cylinder. You find a variety of posters. Oh, yes, the Torvac propaganda. Side-by-side -side robotic figures, the happy family. Nothing else in the cylinder worth anything, so you decide to get rid of what you found and continue on your way. Okay. We will soon be interrogated by Torvac bots about our destruction of trusted messages. Investigator, uh, yep, emitting the radio signal, go for it. Torvac used this beacon as a trap. No, oh, damn it. All right. We're at, like, full health here. We're going to be fine. I'm going to quickly launch a mine right there. Booyah, Kasha, and these dudes are within range, so let's do it. They got three mine layers on this squad, don't they? Holy shit. Might be able to kill one before he even gets up there, although I'd like to get the double damage going, too, actually. Oh, yeah, there it is. There it is. Boom! All right, quick shift. Those two are going to die real quick. Yep, they are both pretty much gone. Oh, good position swap, actually, for me. As long as I can kill him beforehand. There we go. All right, yep, they're both mine layers. Son of a bitch. They are going to be so annoying to deal with. Taste of your own medicine, baby! Oh! Oh, that's nice. Oh, it's a good feeling. Take that loot. All of it. One of your engineers suggests taking apart the beacon for parts. Uh, it's probably booby-trapped. I'll go for it. Nice! 64 bolts. All right, we're rich again. 233. We should go try to find another campsite. Or... Head for something else and hope that we find one on the way. Where's the nearest one here? It's probably gonna be... Ooh, there actually is a new one. Let's hit this up first. I think we can stand to do another couple fights if we have to. Scattered throughout this stretch of desert, you spot several mutilated corpses slowly rotting away in the unforgiving desert sun. Clearly raider territory. Lone rundown garage. Glenn Matthews, quite the handyman, meets you outside the garage. Asks if he can look at your vehicle. Sure. He's gonna repair them for free. Thank you. Thank you very much, Glenn. That saves us a trip to the campsite we were already going to go to anyway. The radio signal originated. It's Guy. What do you need? Let's tell him it'll cost him first. My cousin is... Oh, yes, the Colonia people. All right. We haven't ever really been demanding with them, so I'm okay with doing it at least one time. We would tell them we mean business. Just like we did that stupid professor. What can we buy here? Another vehicle. They've got, oh, oh my god, a 100 millimeter cannon. That's a good start. Let me just throw a cannon on there and then we'll call that good. He's probably worth it. We'll do that. Oh, can't afford this shield now, though, unless we were to sell something, maybe. We don't need both of these, that's for damn sure. They're pretty close to each other. I think this one's probably going to be a little better, so let's just go ahead and scrap that. Got enough to buy this shield now, although, do we need it? Let's see here. Gonna open up our new vehicle, throw the light gun on the front there. I don't think we've even got the space right now for that level 3 shield. I kind of like having the ballistic computer too, although the shield obviously would be a little bit of an improvement. Hmm. The only thing is I think we need to get the gas in a higher priority ahead of this shield. We can buy 5 gas and the shield. I think it'd be good to have, I guess. I don't know. Not really... Well, I'm not gonna come back here, so I think I'm gonna buy it now. It's a good thing to have in the inventory. I mean, like, I'm not gonna be keeping a whole bunch of stuff just lying around. I'm more than likely gonna be scrapping the stuff that I don't think is good enough. So hopefully this is enough gas for now. Let's check out where something is in proximity to us. This seems to be the closest. Okay, let's go for this. 
Private vehicles come streaming down the surrounding dunes. We gotta do it. We gotta hope that we come across some extra gasoline here too, actually. Okay, this is not a great start. It's gonna be some serious damage to the MCV straight away, thank you. Thank you very much, game. We're actually gonna swap your uh, trajectory there. We're gonna land a mine on this dude and launch a quick missile to help you out. In fact, he is nearly dead. Wow, that's kind of ridiculous. All right, you need to start moving up to follow him. Keep it go. Oh, he's got that damn repair drone. That must be the offensive capabilities of it that I haven't seen yet. All right, he's done. We need you to keep moving up, buddy. And he's gonna land on that mine right there. Bam. All right, this is working. This is working. We got targets for everybody. I don't know. Uh, no, he's kind of got the wrong one, but he's gonna die anyway. So let's do this. Keep you moving over this way to take him out, or you can just go like that. Yeah, that's probably a better idea. That's probably for the best. Swap targets. He is gonna die because he can't move anywhere. Get this out of here. And there he goes. Tremendous. He even moved out of the way of our vehicles. And a leech drone. That's probably what I'm looking for. Yeah, that's the one I, I bet I need. The leech drone. Let's go back to the campsite because we're already here anyway. Takes HP from a target and gives it to the MCV. Yay! I like that. I like that a lot. That's gonna be fantastic. So that's the drone that allows you to do that. Okay, I thought it was the healing drone. I'm learning. That's such a good feeling. To learn and love. And live and laugh and loiter. Loitering is probably the best out of the five. Caesar's Chop Shop. Last time I was here, I think I shot this guy in the face. Let's see what happens if we want to talk to him. Let's talk business. You got vehicles. Scrap my armor. I don't know what that means. Scrap my armor. While Caesar's methods seem a bit unorthodox, he successfully managed to strip only the armor of your vehicles whilst leaving their hull completely intact. After some time, he looks satisfied and turns to you. I've got some good uses for that. Pleasure doing business with you. Enjoy those parts. I took all the armor off of my vehicles. I don't know why I didn't think that would happen. Okay, so I just need to... Oh, so I just need to repair them then, right? I thought that would, like, permanently remove the armor stat from my vehicles. But no, that's just gonna be a quick... A quick fix. Alright, that'll be fine. Let's go ahead and send that repair... Or the, uh, leech drone off. See how effective that ends up being. Because we do need some repairs done on the MCV. Oh, uh, this is not helping. Okay, you are in a bad spot. You need to come down here and help this way. He's gonna go down. You need to move up shift position that is a ton of damage you're taking you need to get out of there oh Jesus all right hold on we need the help we need the help we need the extra damage you need to stay alive so I need to get you to a goddamn repair station immediately okay there we go there's one more down we got another missile launch let's do that now keep these guys out of harm's way yeah we need to head straight to the goddamn uh, repair station again there we go all right Holy shit, that was close. My god. <laughs> oh man, Red Wheel. You are not looking good, friend. Okay, here we go. Back to the camp. We went the wrong way, that's why I'm... Oh, that's why I'm in bad shape. Run, please make it. Thank you. Okay. Oh god. That's a big risk. To sell all your armor off like that. Hopefully the uh, cost outweighed the benefit. Or no, you know, vice versa there. All right, well, not terrible, I guess. Probably got a net gain of bolts out of that, at the very least. Maybe we should go purge the plague before we go anywhere else. We haven't gone this way anyway. Let's do this. Oh, there's another camp right there. Hopefully we can get a few more bolts from this. Quick fight with the privateers. We've got a lot of offensive capabilities on our MCV now, which I really like. Lay a mine right there, and then start leeching health off of this guy. Considering he is, uh heavily shielded at the moment. Oh, they got a stun on the MCV. Okay. Well, that's a little worrisome. Look, have my armor back at least. He's gonna shift get in range of both of these guys. Leech drone almost is gonna finish him off, actually. Now let's launch a quick mine right there. He's gonna be dead. There we go. Take that damage from your own vehicle, you son of a bitch! We probably need to move out of the way here, and he's gone. My goodness. Feeling much better now. There's some extra bolts. Medium plasma blaster, too. Alright, we've probably got enough money to now make this quick trip down to the camp. 
just to see what they've got in store. Kaboop! Literally in their store. In the shop is what we're looking for. Oh, we've already been here. Okay, I'm dumb. <laughs> That's fine. Maybe that was the camp that I was going back to originally. Maybe I should have checked the shop at the other camp then. Oh no! Now I've got an internal dilemma. Blood splattered vehicles come racing down toward you. Meet back on the menu! Alright, quick shots. Mine laid there, combined with a freaking missile, and then he's just gonna be toast! Boom! Oh, I missed it. <laughs> Shit. Ah, that stinks. Alright, quick shots. Get on back there. Get on back there. You're gonna live with the positioning on that. Quick mine lay there. Excellent. Alright. These two have their targets. Uh, clear blue is not within range. Here we are. Quick missile launch. Bam. Got it. Alright. Easy fight. Easy fight, easy life. Move out. Nice. Okay, probably gonna want to take an opportunity to reposition stuff here. Game there. Okay. Yeah, this will do. As soon as he's back up there. Back up there with his pals. Decent loot from that fight as well. Still gotta get him out of gas. Alright, let's purge the plague. Or, no, 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 hold on. This is gonna be... Oh, yeah, it is. Alright. Several invaders come out of nowhere. Click, quickly wrote it. Do we want to outrun them? Probably. Yeah, alright. Typically don't have the capability to outrun them, but whatever. No big deal. Alright. Quick leech. Uh, let's go with the mine right there. And then quick missile fire. Sweet. Okay. I'm gonna split up with the back two here. Oh, my God. I keep forgetting those mines take a second to... Uh, actually get up there to target. Oh, goodness, they are going right for the MCV here, but this guy's gonna go down quick and hurt his friend. Oh, never mind. <laughs> uh, I'm getting way too far ahead of myself in a lot of these situations. Oh, there's the mine. Booyah! And a missile launch. Excellent. Right, there's another one down. Got the range for that guy. I'm gonna head up here as well. Try to get out of the direct... the, the side of him. And take him down. Thank you. Whew. All right, we probably need some uh, repairs here. Need to discard something. Probably gonna be the buzz saw. If I'm being real. Got the plague cure. Okay. What are we nearby right now? Not a lot. I guess the stem bolts would be the closest one. Let's see if there's a campsite nearby as well. I could certainly stand for some upgrades. There we are. I think we got plenty to just head there already. Oh, we could look for survivors. Horrendous scenes of carnage. Damn it! Damn you, Raiders! Taking away my beautiful Omic Prime! Shop it up. Hmm. Another repair drone. Well, that's a, uh, that'll be our first repair drone, I guess. These guys have nothing for sale. You know what? I'm gonna buy that. And I'm going to sell... Sell the Taunter. I'm probably not going to use that one. Okay. Let's go ahead and give this to the MCV, considering we might as well use that fourth slot if we have something to put in it. Let's loot. Okay, we're looking good on our weapons for everyone else, right? Medium Plasma Blaster. I do like the light rocket artillery, but I think I'd rather have the weapons I've got on these guys. Well, then again, you know what? I'm going to swap these two. I think I like that a little better. Let's go for the repairs. Everybody back up to like all the way to 100% health. Why not? And we probably need to buy a little bit of gas. Okay. Not bad. Need another better shop pretty soon here. But I'll I'll take that for now. I think we made a slight upgrade. I guess I could have spent some money on uh, stat upgrades, but... I don't know. I think I'd rather wait to see if we can find ourselves... A fourth vehicle for the MCV before we worry about something like that. I gotta remember I've got a repair drone now available on the MCV. Let's try to lay a mine there. That. No, nice. Got him. Gonna hit both these guys with that too. Excellent. Okay, start going for targets here. We're gonna move all the way to the back and start hitting that failure. Same with you. Go down that way. Okay, this should do it. Let's, uh. Let's not worry about using the repair drone just yet. I think we'll. Be fine enough without it. There goes one. Starting to be two. And three. 
Good fight. Very good fight. Lost some, uh... Chunks of armor out the MCV from that. We're looking good. I like the situation here. Emergency broadcast over to the vehicles. None of the machines are running. A great deal of people are sitting outside their vehicles. They don't look particularly well armed. Women and children amongst them. Let's hear them out. Part of the KJL Trading Company en route to deliver some shipments. Head logistics officer is a bloody fool and had us leave with too little fuel. What's in it for me? Can't give you our merchandise. Get some spare parts lying around. Why is it 40 gas now? Oh. Well, okay. That's not a bad trade, actually. I think I <laughs> I'd take that trade pretty often. We do need to hit up another campsite pretty soon here now. Hopefully there's one with very good things to purchase. Hmm. Eiffel's Incorporated. Do we attack the office? We haven't really done that before. That might be fun to try. I I'm gonna go for it. You look at the auto turrets, minefield, and heavy vehicles. Attacking the facility would be exceptionally difficult. Are you sure you want to do this? No, I'm not. I'm honestly not. Sounds like a trap. Attack instead. <laughs> Alright, well, we need... Oh, s whoa, hold on. Several graphs. The Monopoly, they are selling the shipment list that states when and where deliveries of stem bolts will be made. Yeah, let's take that. Eventually, two slick-looking businessmen enter the room. Safe to assume you're here to acquire some of our stem bolts. Yes, yes, yes. 1,500 apparently this time. Okay, sorry, we can't afford that. Uh, we'll look elsewhere. Yeah, we've got we've got a reason to. Re you realize, of course, that we have the monopoly on se self-selling stem bolts. There's no other place to acquire them, but you knew this, of course, and we were simply joking. Ha, jolly good. Shall we get back to business? We have a little endeavor for you. No, I'm all right. You leave those two pompous guys behind and return to your convoy. As soon as you left the area surrounding the office, you take a look at the shipment list you swiped earlier. A large transport of self-sealing stem bolts will be traveling through the area not long from now. Cool. Let's go ambush it, but first let's go to a camp here. Not that close. Hopefully we can make it. Let's see if we can get some extra goodies from this. Probably the mission hindrance 0%. Ooh. This might be a tough, a tough Torvac fight. We'll see what we can do here. I'm going to start taking the health from the shielded guy and see if I can lay a mine real quick to damage these two. Launch a quick missile as well and then get the targets sorted out. To help out to do with the uh, massive shield first. Oh wow, these guys are actually not that heavily armed. There goes one already. Nearly, at least. There it goes. Okay. This shouldn't be that bad, actually. Get you going there. Uh, we can lay a mine on this dude. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. There we go. He's going down. We got another missile to launch. Let's go ahead and hit that. Booyah. One down. Change targets. He should be dead soon, too. Assuming we've got a weapon that actually deals damage to health, which I think we do. Or maybe we don't. Let's just do that. There we go. Problem solved. Okay. There's some extra gas. We got the aid as well. Which I do like a lot. Prevents ramming damage through localized energy fields. We can combine that with a buzzsaw or two. I think I'd rather have that over the ballistics computer, so let's abandon this thing. Investigate the content of the Torvac transport vehicle. A medium plasma blaster, okay. We're gonna have to drop something off here. Actually, we already have one, so let's go ahead and just leave that be. Not bad. Off we go. We got a little bit of extra gas out of that and some more bolts, but obviously need to spend a little bit of money in repairs as a result. We are quite far away from this campsite, unfortunately, but the self-sealing stem bolts are in this direction as well. I think I'm going to follow the road still. Alright. Stumble upon a squad of privateers pillaging the local houses. We can ignore them. No, I think I need a little bit more gas, actually. We might honestly need it all to make it to where we need to be. So I should be uh, a little more willing to take some chances here, I guess. Get this leech drone going. Probably still don't need to uh, make the repair drone available to us right now. These guys are pretty heavily shielded, but there goes one at least. I'm a little worried about this. Let's change targets there. Make sure we're not running into that stuff. Hit a mine. If I can launch a missile on these two. Yeah, they seem to be grouping up a little bit here. There we go. There's the opportunity. Booyah! Oh, he's got a leech drone as well, doesn't he? That's no good. That is not fair. 
I think they should not be allowed to have leech drones. That seems like the only reasonable course of action. Probably gonna have to take this to the face considering I don't want to move over that way, so. Son of a bitch. Yeah, we definitely need some repairs now. The MCV is completely devoid of any armor at this point. Take that to the face as well. A mine layer in the wreckage. Probably better than my repair drone. Or my healing drone. Uh, let's get rid of this cannon. I'd rather have the mine layer. All right. Dead sprint to the camp now. We took some gambles in getting a couple more fights. Hopefully it pays off. Let's see what they got in the newest shop here. Probably gonna trade off a couple of these things too. Let's see if I can maybe get a new MCV vehicle. Oh, we've already been here? Come on! Damn it! That sucks. Let's go to 74-ish. Can't believe we've already been to this one. Damn it all the hell. Alright. I gotta find a new one. Let's just go right to the stem bolt and see if that takes us anywhere desirable. My sense of direction is totally off kilter here. The damn shame that. Oh, I should have swapped the my layer onto. What am I doing? Easily fixed. There we go. Fix that fuel pressure regulator. We're fine. Location of Eiffel's Incorporated Transport is supposed to be passing through according to your stolen transport list. You've arrived just in time as you see the transport driving in the distance. They seem to be guarded by the same type of heavy vehicles patrolling the Eiffel's Incorporated office building. Let's radio them. Please state your business. We demand. Oh, uh, we are in need of help. Let's try to fool them. Yeah. No problems regarding your convoy, so your transparent tricks won't work. I'm afraid our offensive capabilities surpass your own, and we do not wish to take the lives of your crew, so we suggest you leave. We need those! I'm at a disadvantage of the following combat. Attack your t uh, alerting your target of your presence before attacking them isn't the best of ideas. Well, shit. Ooh, that's kind of freaky, too. Oh, boy. All right, hopefully... Whoa! Goodness. Oh, yeah, I recognize these kinds of vehicles. Oh, shit. Are we boned? We might be boned here. Oh, that's no good. Wow. Did they just completely eliminate my armor? I think they did. Good God. That sucks. Um, we need to take your health then, I guess. Holy shit. Alright, I think we need to focus all three of our vehicles on one of theirs. My God, their shields are ridiculous. Their shields are completely ridiculous. We're not doing any damage to them. Holy Jesus, man! When were we supposed to be capable of doing this? Alright, we're starting to get a little bit of the ways through, but... This is absurd! They're just getting their shields back almost instantly, too! Alright, half health there, we gotta keep moving, gotta keep moving, follow them up. Don't let them get out. Oh, if we could ram one of them, actually. Oh my god, can you imagine if this would work? Let's see if I can block him off. Keep him there. Keep him there. Don't let him move. He might be dead. Yes! Oh, snap. Okay, now. There's one dead. We go all the way around, change targets. Here we go. Get that health back. Lay the mine down. Maybe we should try to ram this guy, too, actually. Oh, I bet we could. Hold on. Ram him. Boom! Did it work? Did it work? I don't think so. Yeah, he's getting out of there. Ah, oh, son of a gun. All right, well, we're keeping the MCV out of harm's way for the most part, so that's nice. Oh, yeah, he's starting to wise up to our maneuvers here. Get a quick mine laid down. I think we can still hit everything. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh, I think we're going to be okay. Actually, let's keep him here if we can. Is he going to get hit by that? Oh, yes! Nice! You've successfully destroyed the Eiffel's Incorporated Transport Caravan and its escort vehicles. We got a uh, 60mm cannon for our trouble, which is not really great. Let's get rid of that. You secure an adequate supply of stem bolts from the transport vehicles. They should prove more than enough to patch up your spaceship. After transporting the stem bolts for your own cargo hold to get ready to leave, let's hope Eiffel's won't find out in the near future. True dad. Because we nearly just died. Okay, we need to sprint again to the nearest campsite. We've got two things to drop off. Apparently one of the quest items is right there, so we're gonna head back to that pretty soon. I think we've been to this camp before as well, haven't we? This looks very familiar. Wait, what the hell? Oh, I think I just avoided a beacon too. Yep, we've been here. Oh, damn it. Damn the repeats. Alright, we're gonna swap these, or swap them. Swip swappity slacker -raffic. 
And, uh, yeah, get those repairs going, of course. Get that armor back up, okay. Let's go all the way to full health. Buy some more gas. Alright, there's something happening right outside of the campsite here, I guess. Squad of privateers, uh, they try to speed off. Let's try to catch them this time. We'll keep chasing. The privateers keep dumping cargo in an attempt to speed up. You have to supercharge your engines if you want to catch up now. Do it! The privateers are forced into a fight. Yes! Alright, we tracked them down. Invested a lot into this. Let's see if it ends up being worth it. Right, we got two mine layers now, so we got to remember that. We can hit with these two. Probably want to start to actually, uh... There we are. Probably want to start upgrading stats again. Might be what I start spending my money on here. Alright, he went down pretty damn quick. I think another couple mine lays actually ought to do this guy. Do him in. Boom, baby. We got a lot of offensive capabilities with the MCV now. Let's check what was inside their jettison cargo. Another 21 gas. Okay, totally paid for itself. Fantastic. Let us do some stat upgrades, actually. So let's go ahead and bump up the range and uh, health and armor of our three vehicles here. We got plenty of gas to survive the next couple of endeavors. His weaponry is not really sufficient, unfortunately. Give you quite a few upgrades. And I guess the mine guard is probably going to be worthwhile, too, all things considered. Let's buff that up to max on the MCV. Get him a little bit more health and armor. And that's a pretty damn good use of all my money. Almost all my money. Okay. Very good. Alright. I'll live with that. We're looking a lot better now. Let's see. Oh, we still have to purge the plague. I guess that was probably the quest beacon that we saw over here. So we're going to get some extra goodies from this as well. Excellent. Wow. Ah, excuse me. Sorry, one second. Intermission in the middle of an episode. Look at me go. <laughs> Sorry, I'm dealing with some, some allergies. I am dumb. All right, let's... Uh, oh, snap. Private users have a roadblock ahead. Uh, don't pay the fee or try to wiggle them down a little bit. Yeah, I can pay five. All right. Cool. I can give you a five spot for that. Yeah, let's go ahead and deliver the, uh, deliver the goods we've got right now. It's probably the safer play. Even though it takes a goddamn day and a half to get across there. Crate delivered. All right. Do we have anything we can buy here? We don't, do we? No, we don't. Okay. All's well. Let's head for some hyperdrive stabilizers. I'm, li I'm liking the offensive capabilities of this team right now. Let's see if we can take down this Torvac crew easily enough. Reporting. I think if I prioritize my movements a little bit better... We, we almost have enough from, like, just the MCV to really deal some devastating amounts of damage here. All right, he's going to go down pretty damn quick. We're going to change targets over that way. Leech drone is off and doing its thing. We just need some better weapons, I think, on our vehicles, and then we're going to be in great shape. He's going to go down real fast. He's dead, too. There we go. Yes, sir. Watch the double mine, and he is done. Oh my goodness. That is nice. Search through the ledgers. You've discovered they've been at this toll road business for quite some time. Another 105 parts. Wow. We're up to 400 again. I can buy like anything. I just need to find the things I want to buy. Hello there, matey. I seem to be down on my luck. Wants me to repair his vehicle. I might get another vehicle for my convoy here. That was the third damn time my vehicle was broken down. Been looking for the fabled treasure. Okay. I guess we could go for that. I guess we can go for the fabled treasure. Let's see if it's even close to where we need to go. Or is this gonna show up? Maybe it'll just be on my map at some point. Hopefully. I thought that showed up in the objective log. I guess not. Listen to what he has to say, the single privateer vehicle. Thriftwood, mighty privateer. Oh yes, the rhyme insult fighting. We'll accept the challenge. You're the ugliest monster ever created. With your breath, I'm sure they've all suffocated. We don't count all the ones you've dated. Ooh, nice. With you around, I'd rather be fumigated. I like this one. The privateer is dumbfounded due to your witty repartee. He offers to join your convoy. Hooray! We got Thriftwood. Excellent. 
The fourth vehicle has joined our crew. Ambushed by a squad of privateers. Let's see how good Thriftwood ends up being here. So Thriftwood is... Can't actually tell what sort of vehicle or what sort of weapons he's got there, but... I'm gonna assume they're... Invaluable to our cause. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna move back a little bit there. I'm gonna get this leech drone going on the shielded one. Double mine lay. And that missed completely. Almost missed completely. Oh my god. Alright, well. Thr uh, Thrift Oak doesn't really seem to be doing that much good for us here, unfortunately. Not seeing a ton of offensive capability out of him, but maybe that's just. He's just warming up, right? He's just gun shy. Alright. You should die from that. Oh god, of course you. Dodge the damn thing. That's more like it. Okay, let's get out of the way of that. I don't think they need much help killing this guy, so... Oh! Damn it! Ah! Shit! Oh, that was bad. Oh, no. Well... Son of a bitch. I... I didn't even realize what I was doing. Oh, God, that's... That's really shitty. Well, let's hope we find another vehicle, then. Good lord. That just happened so fast. <laughs> Alright. You arrive in the shady pound, the Sassiac milk bar should be around here. Let's just look around for it. You find the milk bar you're looking for. A large neon sign sits above the entrance depicting a naked woman. Let's talk to the men. Welly, 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 well. To what do we owe the extreme pleasure of this surprising visit? Let's ask him about it. They look at you with questioning eyes. Well, it stands to reason you want to speak with Andy. He's inside the milk bar now, sharpening himself up for tonight. You enter the Sasaic milk bar, which has furniture in the shape of naked women. It looks like the milk is served from their nipples. Faithful looking young man. Hi, hi, hi there! At least we meet. My name is Andy, yes. Lashings of old ultra violence where you come in. If you provide me with the excitement and joy of combat, I'll be happy to give you a hyperdrive stabilizer in return. Sort of a law keeper, so let's dish out some justice to the three different factions. All right, let's do it. He's back to the convoy, I guess. Hooray. He's joined you on her con convoy to dish out some ultra violence. It's my favorite kind of violence. Let's see if we get another vehicle out of this. That would be very, very convenient. We didn't get it. Another repair drone, though. And another leech drone, and a turbo, and a terrible shield. I'm gonna buy that. I'm gonna sell... What am I gonna sell here? I guess the medium plasma blaster? That sounds like a good idea. I think I'd prefer to have two of those leech drones as opposed to two mine layers. I think we're gonna go that route. That sounds pretty good to me. And then we're just gonna sell... I'm gonna sell this thing for now. I don't think I really want that. Okay. Mm what is you? What's your spacing looking like? You can get yourself a big old shield, or we could go ram style on you. We could do both, actually. Whoa! Wait a minute. What? The light MG can sit in the yellow slot? Why the? Whoa! How did he do that? That was weird. All right. Well. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go ahead and bump up your your offensive capabilities here. I guess you're kind of more of a tank, aren't you? So if we can get your handling up even further, actually, then we can give you some ramming weapons, perhaps. Did they have anything in there? No, they didn't. Maybe we'll find one, though, but for now, we'll just leave you be. I'm gonna throw the aid on you anyway, because we can still ram with no weapons, it's just not as effective. Repair a little bit. Mm-hmm. Okay. Not bad. Let's go uh, figure out how to finish off the hyperdrive stabilizers. Pursue the privateers while trying to stay out of sight. That rarely works, but I'll try it again anyway. While you continue listening in, I've just had an apostrophe. Don't you mean an epiphany? Lightning just struck my brain. Well, that must have hurt. These privateers are out of their minds. Time to engage! We can't have crazy people around. That's just lunacy. Alright, double repair drone on your sorry ass. Let's get this going. I'm actually gonna try to ram him real fast. We managed to do that. There we go. Yeah, there's some good damage. Get that going. Yeah, I'd much prefer to have four vehicles in place of three here, but... I guess what's done is done. Insanely dumb things. That leech drone is worth its weight in gold, I think, though. Yeah, thanks for dying that easily on me. There we go. 
gonna try to use the offensive capabilities of my MCV as frequently as I possibly can here. Because that's gonna be a difference maker. Let's get you moving back like this. You need to change targets over there. Launch another missile at this feller. As soon as the availability presents itself. There we go. I don't like the MP blast. So oh god, okay, get out of the way. Take that, that's fine. Oh my god. I gotta pay better attention here, man. He's gonna kill me if I'm not careful. Ba boom! You seem to find a remarkable number of clocks. Uh, yes, I recall. Another reference I don't understand. Another beacon, too. Try to follow the signal. A wrecked vehicle, nobody seems left alive. The signal was on auto repeat. Hooray! Free stuff! My favorite sort of thing. Oh, look, another campsite. I have so much money still. I really hope they got some good stuff. And there's another one down there, too. Please tell me I haven't been here yet. I haven't! Oh my god! EMP blaster for the uh, MCV. EMP mine layer and the super heavy railgun! Giant railgun that does massive damage and ignores shields. Its targeting sensors are somewhat lacking and it can miss smaller targets. Oh baby! Yes, please. Do I want to stun stuff as well? That might be better than having two mine layers. Let's see what I can do with this. Want to keep the missile. I think I'll replace the mine layer with the railgun. And then, I guess, just sell both of these? Yeah, I think I'd rather have the leech drones, honestly. I like- I really like the MCV setup now. Let's go for some upgrades to the health and armor, too. Repair all that. Mm-hmm. That was a waste of money. Okay. That'll do. We still got plenty left over. Let's see if I can find another vehicle in this other one. Investigate the wreck. All you find are some dog tags with Dr. Redacted written on them. It's a terrible name for a doctor. Alright, find me another vehicle here, please. Damn it. There's a buzzsaw, though. And a chainsaw. Chainsaw obviously being better. Let's buy that for our ramming vehicle here. So this guy is going to be almost exclusively ram-based. Okay. That's good. Let's go. Off to find the hyperdrive stabilizers. I think we've got a decent chance. I think we'd have a much better chance if I hadn't been a goddamn moron and blown up our fourth vehicle, but we'll live with it. Alright, let's check out this railgun, man. I'm excited for it. I'm quite excited. And this guy, this guy can move it around real fast to go for some ramming speed maneuvers. Railgun time. Let's see it. Is that not gonna... Oh, they EMP blasted it, didn't they? You a-holes. Okay, we need to... Here we go. Railgun is firing. Oh, that... Oh, my Jesus, wow. Oh, damn. That was brutal. That was like a one-shot kill. Holy shit. That's gotta take forever and a day to recharge then, right? That was insane damage. Good lord. All right, change targets. Change targets. Yeah, that's taking a long ass time to come back. All right, let's keep an eye on these skulls here. He's gonna go down soon. You're gonna change targets to that. There we go. You got this guy coming down. You got a missile ready to fire. Got him. Okay, there we go. Let's move up here. Oh, that's dangerous, actually. Shit. Ooh, man. Close call. Oh, that's right. You need to ram him. I don't know what I was doing with that. Get out of here, you dummy. You need to finish him off, too. There we go. And then we got him. Bloody privateers. Oh, boy. I'm gonna hit this up real fast and then drive straight across the savannah. Large number of privateer vehicles engaged in combat. Let's, uh, let's wait them to finish each other off. They've evidently some come to some sort of agreement to attack you first. Oh, that's a bunch of balls. That's a bunch of horse hockey. All right, let's start this off with a quick rail shot. Oh, wow. <laughs> that thing is just ridiculous. I love it. My God. All right, quick leech drones here. We're going to avoid this damage and move back here to intercept this guy in the bottom. You need to be taken advantage of, too. Okay. We've got some heavy vehicles on the enemy team right now. I'm not stoked on this. Ram time. Oh, come on. You got to get up there, buddy. You gotta get moving. 
You got a chainsaw all day long. I know I've failed to keep a good grasp on what you need to do, but let me take the opportunity now, I guess. Come on, get him. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Boom! Oh, God, there's a mine layer over there, too. Avoid that. Please and thank you. Oh, God. I'd certainly use another, uh... Another weapon on this guy, I guess. See if I can finish you off. He's not within range anymore. Man, when you got a ramming vehicle, it's kind of difficult to, uh... Make sure everybody's doing the things they need to do. Let's go. Let's with that. There we go. Hit the missile. Change targets. Take a bunch of mine hits. Jesus Christ. All right, all right. Got a taunter out of that. We need to head to a campsite again. In fact, I might need to run quickly back to here. Just to be safe. Just to err on the side of caution, I'm going to do this. Get the repairs going again. There we go. Okay. Good, good, good. Don't really need to replace anything. All right. Who, jeez. So yeah, we're going right through this stretch of land here. Try to stay as low to the ground as we can. Uh, try to radio me. You know what? Have ten gas. Sure. Just leave me alone for a second. I want to. I'd like to get up up here if that's okay. Um. Yeah. This is. This is not great routing here. Have we been to that campsite? I want to say yes. Yeah, it looks like we have. These look familiar now. You arrive at the Torvac checkpoint. These cyborg freaks can't be trusted, but we can't just rush in and wipe them out. They've kidnapped a woman called Elizabeth. Her safety is of the utmost importance. So what's the plan, buddy? Radio them and negotiate her release or feign ignorance and get them to attack us to weaken their forces without making it apparent we're here for Elizabeth. Let's try to negotiate it. Hmm... We suggest you surrender as you have no chance of beating our forces. If they attack us, they'll have no reason to endanger their prisoners. That'll suit us fine. Surrendering would be a horrible idea. We're defenseless without your convoy. Oh, man. I want to do it, but I'll, I'll have them attack me. Oh, God. Sometimes you just want to pick the worst ideas just to see what happens. Just out of curiosity. Oh, damn. We could get a solid hit right here. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. And we probably just want to railgun that guy, actually. I probably made a mistake in sending the leech drones off to him. Did I just kill two vehicles with one railgun shot? Because that would make me really happy. I'd be really pleased by that. The railgun is probably not going to be available multiple times in pretty much any fight. If we can't take the... Oh, that's right. You're ramming. Man, I keep forgetting that. And boom. There he goes. Right, let's do some damage here. Keep ramming him. Keep on ramming him from behind. You know how it is. You know what you need to do. Yes. Booyah! And he's gonna go down. Go ahead and get out of the way. Sick! And he looks pleased and states this, they won't have any security to protect their prisoners now. Retrieving Elizabeth will be a walk in the park. He leaves toward the checkpoint and soon returns with one who identifies herself as a little bit of danger trouble. A squad of murderous raiders have been active in the area. They have recently attacked the village of Whiteboro. We shall travel there and see if we can find any information regarding their whereabouts leading to pay for their crimes. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll radio them. You'll have to... I guess you'll have to... You'll have to try to die trying. If you wouldn't, manage, if you wouldn't mind doing that for me. I'd really appreciate it. Okay. Leech drones there. Quick missile launch. Those two missed completely. I, that was a bad shot. Oh, shit. There goes the first enemy, though. Oh, that's a... Oh, God. Every time. Every damn time. You know what? I'm gonna ram this dude. He's the one that deserves it right now, I think. Oh, yeah. We need that mind guard for sure. That mind guard is gonna be extraordinarily valuable. I should not fire missiles there. <laughs> what am I thinking? Oh, damn. Look at that ramming damage, too. That is beautiful. We gotta get out of here, though. Alright, avoid that. Leech drones on this guy. If we can get him there, there we go. A little bit of extra damage. we we'll survive this. Get out of the way of that. Fantastic. Oh, he's dead. Oh, wonderful. That's convenient. Let's finish him off. Boom! Medium beam laser. Very effective against health. Cannot miss a target when in range. I like that more than the cannon, that's for sure. Let's abandon this. Alright. We're doing okay here. 
I'd like a new campsite if possible, because obviously we still need to find a fourth vehicle. I don't think we're going to find it around here. Maybe if I went north, but... A big red barrel has stood in the middle of the road. Let's look inside of it. Loads of colorful cardboard boxes filled with miniatures, dice, and little booklets with lots of text. Your crew looks elated and quickly distributes these spoils. As you prepare to head out, you hear one of your crew members exclaim, Roll for initiative. Ha <laughs> ha. Ah, they're playing, they're playing a game. Okay. That's, that's fun. That's fun for the crew. Let's just head back to our regular camp and maybe sell some stuff off here, actually. Got a lot of junk. We could use a little bit of gas and a little bit of repairs, maybe. Alright. Good, 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 good. And we will sell that useless thing. I might want to keep the taunter, though. I can see myself utilizing the taunter. All right, we're gonna max out the stats here for the MCV. I like that. And then uh, let's get a little bit more mind guard, some more health and armor for these guys. We really do have the money to spend. I think we're gonna be quite all right here. Make our guys looking ship shape for winter. Okay, that'll do. Not gonna upgrade or equip the taunter just yet. Not upgrade, but yeah, there it is. Yeah, making good time. He's going to suddenly pick up several mines off-road to stay safe. Definitely the good call there. Almost a three out of four here. I think the final one may prove to be a little bit more difficult. You arrive at the village of Whiteboro. According to Andy, this is the last place the squad of raiders was spotted. The fact that they've been here is evident from the carnage left behind. Most of the buildings have been shot to hell. Corpses litter the streets and the Elsma's putrid. Search for tracks. Andy looks thoughtful, then adds, It can't be long. If we chase after them now, we're sure to catch up to them. Let's do it. Hmm. Wonder what we might have missed out on there. The change of pitch and volume missed the emergency signal. Let's, uh, ambush them ourselves. Very good. Like that beginning. Oh, yeah, that's, that's another great start for us, too. Alright. Raiders usually have those... Pretty damn quick vehicles. Let's get a sh super fast railgun shot that totally missed. That's a bummer. Launch the missiles. There we go. Let's actually change targets here real fast. We got a lot of vehicles, but they're all pretty damn weak. I think susceptible to a lot of the stuff that we've got offensively. They did completely remove my armor again somehow. How in the world are they doing that? What the balls? Also, just remembered again, he's the melee guy. I gotta stop forgetting that, because he's doing a ton of damage when I actually use him effectively. Oh, that's gonna hit me. <laughs> oh, man. I'm making some some wise choices here. Okay, you gotta get up here. Uh, actually, you know what? He's not gonna be the... He's not gonna be the target anymore. Oh, God. How am I losing all of this armor so fast? This is ridiculous. He's done. He's gonna be done. He's probably got enough firepower to make this end. Right? Tell me you do. Thank you so much. Don't get hit by that. Excellent. Another mine layer. Wow. The game really wants me to have those. Uh, metal glinting in the sunlight. A hulking figure wearing what looks like a makeshift plate mail out of spare parts. He's carrying a massive exhaust pipe as a lance and has a steering wheel as a shield. Have at thee, servant of the dragon. Calm him down. The last of the Order of the Wheel on a quest to defeat the legendary dragon. I like it. Uh, why are you on foot? Let's help him out. I think we've gotten this guy before, haven't we? Yeah, the Dragon Cave. All right. Well, you know what? I'm going to take a bit of a risk here and uh, assume that we're going to be able to take down this threat without getting that quick repair. We've cut out to the Raidables. The Raidables! Everyone's favorite lunch. Raidables. All right. We gotta hit somebody with a railgun here. Hopefully we don't miss this shot. Got him. Oh, wow. Nearly the one shot on that guy. Now let's get some healing drones going with this guy, too. Switch targets to him. As the healing drones keep this going. All right. Very powerful start, but after that we slow down quite a bit. Especially don't like the goddamn beam damage coming through now. See, I wish I could get them further away from the convoy. Ooh, yes, yeah, stay there, perfect. Boom, love it. Okay, keep the target priority there, and we're gonna move around this way. I keep forgetting your goddamn melee. Ah, 
Maybe I shouldn't have him as a melee if this is what I'm gonna keep forgetting. Clearly, that is undesirable for me. Get a couple more elite drones. He's done. And you are dead. We made it! Are we done, Andy? That we are, my brother. Return me to the Sassic Milk Bar and I shall supply you with your precious hyperdrive stabilizers. Goody goody gumdrops, man. We got a freaking campsite nearby here. Oh yeah, just 200 kilometers away, that's fine. Uh, let's get out of here. Yeah. I think I need to go heal up. A large number of raiders are gathered here. Seems to be some sort of violent event. You're just in time to compete in our destruction derby. Step right out to compete unless you haven't got the balls. Sounds fun! Choose one of your vehicles and enter the Thunderdome! You enter the arena with your vehicle and see a variety of other vehicles. The majority look battered and roughed up. A countdown begins. Choose your strategy. Full on aggression! You fire up your weapons and drive around furiously, blasting every other vehicle you see. You shoot down several opposing vehicles. Your car suffers a hit by an opponent. Counterattack. The other competing vehicles are destroyed one by one. Eventually, you find yourself the last man standing. Hooray. We got free stuff and we're now certified badasses in the eyes of the Raiders. Wonderful. Well, this camp is more than likely going to be one that I've already gotten to, so this is going to be a bit of a bummer, but I do need to make the repairs at least. Uh, we are going to run from this. Thank you. Thank you for not screwing me over. You know what? I'm going to hit this up, actually. Whatever this may be. Oh, the Dragon Cave, yeah. Two ominous red lights appear in the distance. The Knight of the Order of the Wheel runs out of your MCV, lance and shield at the ready, and starts charging toward it. The red lights come closer, and it, and it is actually a dragon! Oh! Is that our dragon there? Okay, well, let's do this, I guess. Hit it li with literally everything at the same time. Railgun missed. Oh, damn. Okay, wow, this- oh, shit. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting this at all. Oh my god. Uh, we gotta get out of the- okay, we're gonna have to be really smart about this. You're not going up there anymore, buddy. Oh, shit. Oh shit, I did not expect that at all. Avoid whatever the hell that is. That looks like a goddamn death ray. Yeah, he's hitting his own guys with that though, so if we can line that up so he's having to hit his own people, that might work well for me. We got another missile launch here. Let's hit these two. Boom. Oh my god. Uh, Can we ram them into position maybe? That's probably what we end up having to do here. I would venture a guess. Oh god. Luckily, I think the MCV is gonna have plenty of, uh... Plenty of health for this. Ooh, he's got the AMP stun things, too. Alright, we can probably move up and start dealing a little bit of damage here, I bet. Get the hell out of the way of that. Start another ram. Perfect. Okay, survive that. Now. Oh god, what are you doing? Come back, come back! Holy shit! Why in the world would you move that way? Don't do that, obviously. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. Avoid. 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 Ah, shit. Oh man, what are we gonna do here? I think- Okay, we can't ram this, can we? Yeah, so he's totally useless at this point. Unless we can go kill this guy with him. We just gotta make sure we're staying alive. Not even be able to- Oh no, we can't really ram him very effectively. Oh boy. Alright. Just gotta stay alive here. Watch him. Oh, no! God, don't do that. That's what I need. That's a little better, okay. You need to ram him again. Keep on firing. We're gonna be just fine. A couple leech drones. You need to follow him around, don't you let up! Don't you let up on him! We almost have the railgun available again, too. Alright, make sure we're not getting hit by those. I'm gonna keep dealing damage here. Oh, shit, whoa. Alright, well, we can't move that way anymore. Oh boy. Oh boy, just let that be. Hit him with this. Good. Oh, he's gonna hit another one, though. Get up out of the way of that. Oh my god! We almost have enough damage here. The railgun's about to fire again, too. Yes! Sick. With a final explosion, the dragon is slain. The knight approaches your convoy and thanks you for your assistance. Explains he never really thought about what to do after his quest had finished. Since he'd been noble enough to aid him, he offers his services to your convoy. Yes, please. I shall construct my own vehicle from the remnants of this dragon, the Dragon Knight. Wow. He looks pretty damn strong, actually. That seems like it's going to help us out a lot. We definitely need to go to the camp now. I desperately need to get some armor back. 
That was pretty cool. <laughs> I wasn't really expecting that at all. Uh, they managed to give them 30 bolts of the open fire. Yeah, sure. That's not a huge loss. I'd rather stay alive here. All right. Look at this. Oh, wow. That looks like it's going to be really good. Let's see what he's got equipped. Get that armor back. Uh, what are you rocking, buddy? You've got two heavy pulse lasers and a heavy plasma cannon. Good God. Please never leave my side. I love you. I'm going to give you all these upgrades. Look, we, we are showing you we care. Oh, God. That's so good. We've been here before, too. Yeah, we got a repair drone and a turbo out of this. Let's get rid of the repair drone, maybe. Eh, maybe not. I want a beam on someone, actually. Let's give a beam laser to this guy. And we'll keep the ro rocket artillery in case we want it later. We're not going to use that. And the taunter would probably be good for him. But I like him having the shield, too. We'll just leave that be. I'd like to replace him, honestly. But if I, I, if I use the rammer effectively, then it's not bad at all. So I guess it's on me. It's on me to make it work out. Okay, go back to the ship. Let's uh, go recover these stabilizers. And we're looking pretty good. Great. It's been a blast on my brother. Oh, he wants to join us. Yes, please. I'll replace shitty Mc... stupid with you. Wow. Oh my Jesus. You have two heavy railguns and a level three shield? Where have you been? Where have you been all my life? You know what? I'm keeping Thriftwood. I'm going to keep Thriftwood. I'm going to get rid of this guy. Smoky Duck. I'm going to discard his cannon because I don't even need it. Wow. All of a sudden, we are in much better shape. All right, let's find the ethanol, and then we're out of here. I think this crew might win. I really do. We've got a lot of power here now. And if I can use Thriftwood effectively to ram people, that's... That's going to be really good. I think I've already been... Yeah, we've been to that camp. Maybe not one up here, though, but we don't need much anymore. Uh, let's see how well we're doing now. See how effective this ends up being. Look how fast he is, too. It is freaking ridiculous. Okay. So, he's the one that needs the ram, so we're gonna go over here real fast. Start targeting this guy. Let's see if I can hit a railgun shot on a still moving, or a non moving target. Uh, or no, no, no. You stay there. You stay there, buddy. You start targeting. I'm gonna launch a quick missile right there, and then we're gonna get a healing blast going this way, and a railgun shot. I think it missed. Oh, no. There he goes. There he goes. Oh, baby. Look at that. Oh, I like the beam as well. There goes the shield there. Oh, God. Dragonite, watch out, buddy. Let's keep you alive here. Let's move up. You're going to go all the way around here, I think. It's probably going to be the best maneuver. And quick shot of the missile. Oh, yeah. Surround his punk ass. Take him down. Get him. Get him. Boom. Are you even targeting him? What are you doing? There, take it out. Take out the damn thing. Oh boy. I am going to actually keep that chainsaw just in case we get another... I, I doubt it's actually possible to get another weapon slot on existing vehicles, but... I want to hope. I want to have hope. You arrive at the presumed location of the underground laboratory. All you see is a shoddy looking shack, which presumably houses the entrance to the underground facility itself. Oh! Okay, this is different. I don't think this has ever happened before. Okay, let's see. So, railgun to here as soon as that guy stops moving. I'm going to go with a quick missile launch to that and then drain on those dudes. Start fi firing this way. I feel like I have a better chance of the, uh, of the railgun hitting if the target isn't moving. So I'm waiting for that opportunity. All right, this looks good. There it is. Yeah, nice. They're all bunched up here, too. This is kind of convenient for me. This one needs to start hitting stuff. And... Get him! Get him! Yeah, there's the ram! Keep on firing! Let's get you going around. There we go. Dragon Knight is hitting in there. Uh, I can probably give you a quick missile launch. There it is. Holy shit! Wow! This is a strong crew, man. This is a very strong crew. I am feeling good about this, as long as I can keep people alive. Wow. That is insane. 
A bald man with a scruffing looking beard emerges from the shack, unfazed by the destroyed vehicles littering the area. My so called protection wasn't worth the price they paid. Your recent arrivals belong on the ship, I presume. Uh, ethanol, yes, yes, all that good stuff. All right. Gotta go acquire his goodies. Oh, that's so far away, too. God damn it. All right. Make the journey. Uh, let's fight him. Why not? We're doing fine here. I really like the power behind these railguns, too, man. It's kind of ridiculous. Let's leech this dude, get these two up here to start firing down. Oh, there's a quick ram. No, nope, didn't get it. Oh, they're too freaking quick. We can probably hit this guy with a railgun and then shoot off a quick missile. Start dealing damage. That hurts. That hurts him. He's still within range here, actually. Let's go ahead and change your target real fast. Please start doing things. Please start doing the things I want you to do, buddy. I'd really appreciate it. Right, there he goes. Change targets. Change targets. We're doing fine. Start ramming again. Oh, God. My MCV is taking a huge heaping amount of damage here. Shit. That's no good. All right. Please don't kill me. Whoa. I didn't even realize. Okay. So we want to upgrade the health and armor of the MCV again, maybe. Starting to look like it might be necessary here. Hot damn. I don't really need a buzzsaw. We'll get rid of that thing. Well, let's hope that there is another campsite nearby. Let's actually change the objective beacon to that. Oh, good. Okay. We might not even have uh, been to this one yet. Let's see what they got. Repair fully before anything. I don't even care what kind of shop offerings they can make to us. At least not at this stage. Uh, oh, the green cat. Not as good as what we've got already. The super heavy railgun. <laughs> Giant railgun that does massive damage targeting says oh, it's like the same thing, but better Wow All right, we're gonna sell our repair drone because I'm definitely not gonna be using that anymore And I might sell the ballistic computer too Might not need to though. Let's see We can get rid of the I think I want to keep the missile launcher. Let's get rid of this leech drone We're gonna have a oh, we're gonna have two super heavy railguns Wow I hope that's for the best. It seems like it is. Oh, we've already maxed out the MCV. Shit. I guess we're not making any more upgrades then. Let's give you even more handles. And let's give you some more health and armor. I haven't upgraded you at all, actually. There it is. All right. Decent amount of gas still, too. Let's keep trucking along. And head to those ethanol checkpoints. Once we get this, I really do think we've got a shot. Two super heavy railguns, not a ton of a- uh, oh, mysterious object. It's a bomb! Oh, sweet. Alright, completely uneventful. Yeah, two super heavy railguns, two railguns on one of our vehicles. Good ramming damage, although that's probably not going to be very useful against the final boss, I would imagine. We'll have to see how things go. Hmm. Investigate the Hamlet. Crude graffiti on the walls, obviously the handiwork of local raiders scrounged out some supplies. Alright, I'll take it. I really don't think I need to worry about getting too much anymore. Let's just head straight through here. No, uh, might not have been the best idea, but we'll go for it anyway. Free trading, we followed this before, but uh, let's see what they got. Okay, no big deal. Here is our objective. Let's do it. Amidst the profanity shouted over the radio, you recognize here to steal our Mendel moonshine over our dead bodies. That can be arranged. It can certainly be arranged. All right. I'm hoping that these two railgun shots just translate to victory. Let's see if I can just shoot these two guys real fast. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. That's so damn satisfying. And the missile nearly kills them both, actually. Holy shit. That is awesome. Alright, let's try not to take too much damage here. Let's just take, take all these guys down instantaneously. If we could ma manage to do so. We are losing so much armor so fast, it's ridiculous. Oh, yeah, Thriftwood needs the ram. There we go. I am Thriftwood, I must ram. ooh -ah. Alright, probably not really worth it to, uh, to try to do another missile launch here. Let's just take him down. There he goes. Alright. Shield even... Took most of the impact there. You find the equipment Ryan has said he needed to construct a proper distillery to synthesize the multicellulose infused ethanol. Hooray! I have to go all the way back to bring it to him. Alright, well, we got it. 
Head over to investigate. He's got a severely mutilated man. The raiders free him and bring him to the medical bay. The man passes away soon after. Oh. Almost saved someone. And how in the world are we losing our armor so quickly? There's got to be just some sort of armor blasting weapon they're using against us. Uh, let's see. I think we can try to outrun him here. I guess we need the gas from the reward, so not the worst situation here. All right. Two, three. Leech drone here. Quick missile launch on this guy. Change target priority there. Move up to this dude. Driftwood's going to start trying to ram these folks. Oh my god, the damage is real from that. So damn good. All right, he's almost done. We're going to get another quick ram in. Ba-boom. I think our targets are still pretty much the same here. Let's move this guy. Uh, oh, there we go. That'll do. Probably not going to get another shot off from the MCV. There's the damage. There's the damage. Don't let him hit you anymore. There he goes. Get him. Get him. Quick ram. What are you doing? Quick ram. Go, go, go. There it is. Hell yeah. Fabulous performance, splendid display, jolly good work. Finally, a worthy challenger for the great Sir King Killer the Educated. Huh. We speak of chess, of course. The greatest sport known to the educated elite, Sir King Killer the Educated, had lacked a worthy opponent for quite some time, leaving us in a spot of bother. Show, uh, show your valiant skills as a battlefield commander on the battlefield of chess. Let's proceed with a game of chess, a battleground for rival ideologies to slug it out with glee. Pray take white, good sir. May the best man win. Let's move upon. Clearly your intent is the Blackburn Shilling Gambit. A for effort, good sir. Sir King Killer the Educated moves upon. Move a knight. He moves upon. Ponder. Your next move awaits. Move a... Move a pawn. Consider your next move. Move a rook excitedly. He moves a pawn. Uh... Move your queen. You confidently move your final piece and state checkmate! Oh! Looks momentarily dumbfounded before exclaiming, Jolly good show, you are truly an inspiration to all of Omic Prime. I must thank you for the absolute pleasure of this jolly game of chess. Please allow me to join your merry band of lads who are clearly ch led by a chess genius. Surely we'll be able to play some games during our travels. That sounds fun. What do you got for me? Big bucket. Medium rocket artillery and a heavy MG. Well, you're probably better than this guy. Are you? What's your DPS looking like? 9.4 against 10 or 12 and 9. You know what? I kind of just like your car enough to keep you. And I can give you his weapons anyway. Yeah, we'll keep you. Sure. And we'll, uh... We'll abandon this. And, uh... That. Right? Yeah. Well, no, I kind of like having the beam. Let's get rid of these. There we go. Let us continue. Cool. Alright, we've gotten three uniques here. This is a fun run. Need to find a camp soon. Don't have a ton of money, but I'm also very low on gas. There we go. Uh, prepare for battle. I probably ought to do it. So, still got Thriftwood here. Actually, yeah, we have four uniques. Four unique vehicles. That's kind of fun. Let's see if I can deal the damage outright. Kill these two. Oh, they both hit. That is magic. That is simply magical. Yes. Alright, get out of here. Driftwood needs to start ramming. You need a target. Bam, bam, bam. You take him down, and you probably have enough to just take this guy out yourself. I would hope. I would plead with you to be able to do that on your on your own. So I'm moving back this way. Dragon Knight needs a new target. Get another quick ram. Oh, there he goes. Good god. We deal a lot of damage. Uh, missile's gonna finish you off. Oh, completely missed, actually. Damn. These guys are pretty damn slow, though, so yeah, he's gonna he's gonna be dead. <laughs> Alright. That does the trick. And can you even hit him? Just assume that we're all gonna stay in the same spot. Let's get a repair drone over there, I guess. This is an odd circumstance. Hit him with a missile. There we go. Hooray! Another victory. A ballistic computer that we totally don't need. I've been hanging out of the Taunter for a while, but... Maybe I won't end up using that either. Full repairs. All the way. 
No hesitation there. I need to give this guy some serious upgrades, though. He might not have been who I wanted to keep, actually, now that I look at this. Oh, damn. Oh, I should have gotten gas before I did that, too. Hmm. Okay, well. Here's hoping. He may not be. Yeah, I think I might have prepared to keep... Or might have been better off keeping my other guy. Shit. Oh, well. Too little too late now. Tell me this isn't going to be as arduous as it looks like it's going to be. Oh, shit. Well, here we go. I feel like the difficulty has been escalating a little bit with these recent fights here, too. Alright. Ignore shields. Ignore shields. Get some damage going there. You've got your target. You've got yours. Alright, here we go. Start ramming. Don't even ever let up. Don't you never let up. No, sir. He's done. He's going down. This guy right here has got enough damage basically by himself. How in the world are they just melting through my armor like that? That is insane. Oh my god. Alright. He's dead. Need to ram him real fast. And he's gonna go down. Nice. As long as I've got uh, decent control over my... You know what? I'll keep this, actually. We'll abandon this thing. As long as I've got decent control over my vehicles, I think this composition is more than capable of handling itself. I probably ought to go back down to the campsite, too. I think we might be close enough. I want to take a slightly faster, if not roundabout, way to get there. Not having to go over the mountains. Uh, we'll investigate the wreck. Heavy rocket artillery and a super... Oh my god, a third one? Do I even want that? That's what I have to ask myself. Holy shit. I think I do. I honestly do. So we're going to abandon those two things and get both of those new gadgets. We'll have to take a serious look at our inventory here. It looks elated at your delivery. More than sufficient. I'll have your multicellulose ethanol as soon as possible. He says, time passes. More time passes. We're waiting. There we go. Without having noticed any significant change in pace, it appears Rhinus has finished synthesizing all the required multicellulose infused ethanol. A quick scan shows it to be suitable. Hooray! All right. Let's go. Apologize for my allergies here. I am stuffing up. My goodness. We are nearly out of fuel here, too. This is working out splendidly. Okay. Do I equip my sh freaking vehicle with four... Three railguns and a leech drone. I think I'm going to. I, I'm going to try it. As ridiculous as it sounds, I'm going to try it. And let's check out the weaponry on this guy. I'm obviously going to upgrade this to heavy rocket artillery. And then I think, yeah, he needs to... Well, actually, that's higher damage. No, this is more DPS. Okay, let's do that one. Okay. That does the job. We're going to sell this and get some more gas. There we are. All right, I think this is good. Need some repairs too. And let's sell the heavy MG to repair the vehicle even further. Okay, off we go. We're heading back to camp, bae. I think I can escape that. All right, we're gonna see if this uh, if this does the trick because we are done. We've got four vehicles, all well. Three out of four, I feel pretty damn good about, but the fourth one is just meh. Uh, investigate the wrecks, I guess. Clean of anything useful, okay. As you near your spaceship, ready to fix it up and leave this planet once and for all, you spot an enormous hovering battle machine. Let's do it. Here we go. All right. How effective is this composition going to be? We'll find out now. Where are they going to show up? I've got three rail guns. I'm starting to think, actually, the, uh... I don't think that... Whether or not they're staying still impacts my ability to hit them with the railgun shot, so I should just fire these as early and often as possible here. Hit this guy with all four. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, they all landed! He's dead! Holy shit! Wow, that was amazing! Look at the damage from that railgun. That is absolutely insane. Alright. We're gonna keep, uh, actually, you know what? We're gonna go all the way around him and let these, all these guys hit him. You need to be doing some damage here too, buddy. 
And then just start ramming them this way. And he's done! Oh my goodness! What a start! Oh god, here he comes, okay. Get the hell out of there. Get the hell out of there, go, go, go! Run, run, run! I don't know if I can even ram him, so... We'll have to see what we got going on. Oh, uh, the railguns aren't gonna be available here. Here he is! Let's go with Leech Drone, so let's try to focus on one thing at a time, I guess. We're all gonna target this. All of us that have guns, at least. And let's see if I can ram him, I'll try. I'll do my damnedest here, I guess. I can! Oh, snap, okay. So we can definitely go this stra or with this strategy here. Alright, there goes one weapon, holy shit! Holy shit, we're doing it! Let's let him actually start ramming things up here, too. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, I hope I get my railguns back soon, too. Oh, God. All right. Where's he going? Where are you going? What's he... F Ooh, this is interesting. I don't think I want to be in front of him anymore. Yep, that's bad. Oh, Jesus. Whoa! Oh, what the hell? Wow! Oh, that's bad. <laughs> oh, my God. That looks awful. How do we... How do we deal with that? I guess we just want to be out of the way. Yeah, we gotta let him do his thing, and then he'll come back and let, let us hit him one more time. Yeah, let's keep this front of the MCV formation so he's not dealing any damage to us, at least. Alright, yep, yeah, keep the priorities the same. There we go, alright, he's gonna start ramming again. Hopefully we can get our railguns back soon. Whatever the hell that was that was hitting us that way, I need to address as soon as freaking possible. Okay. Oh, there goes another one. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, we've got almost all three railgun shots back. We need to keep ramming. Oh, there he goes again. Okay, so he is going to... Let's just get everybody back behind this. And then, same with you. You need to go all the way back here. Hopefully we can avoid all damage just by way of getting these guys out of the positions. Oh, what the hell are you doing, man? Oh my god. Alright, just run. Just run. Yep. That's what you gotta do. All right, that got us out of harm's way. We got three around. You know what? We should probably just fire these now. No, he's gonna move soon. Oh god, he's doing it there now. All right, as soon as he lands, I'm gonna just, I'm try. I'm gonna try to fire one railgun shot, and I'm gonna see if that's effective. I think I can have probably avoid this again just by sitting back here. All right, let's try to fire one off. See if that works. I got it. Okay, so we should definitely hit these now. Oh, that missed. That one hit though. Good, good, good. Okay, we're making it through that. He's, oh, that's the mind laying stage, isn't it? Alright, let's get up and try to hit him. I think we can live with this. I'm gonna keep him behind, though, because I know I'm probably not gonna be able to do too much to it. Alright, start hitting this thing. Go, 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 go. Avoid the mines, okay. I'm probably take a little bit of damage. I'm gonna try to get him to focus on this guy as much as I can, although I don't know if I'm gonna be able to really do that very effectively. I probably shouldn't be right up in his face now that I think about it. I should be as far away as I possibly can be now that I... I've gotten a good idea of what I'm doing here. I'm a, I'm fine with him taking those. Okay, oh, that's gonna be another one in the middle. He's gonna go right back. Good. We're doing fine. We're doing fine here. This is okay. Dealing with a significant amount of damage. Alright, everybody get back to the front. You need to get back on the side. Go like that. You go over here first. Alright, yeah, this is definitely going to be the priority still. Good, good, good. Alright, we're looking fine now. Start dealing ramming damage again. Good, good, good. They're all still hitting him, right? I might need to get a little closer, though. Yeah, that's looking better. Oh, shit. Okay, uh, you need to move right there. Get another leeching drone on this thing. Holy crap. Oh my god, wow. Alright, uh... Move back. Holy Jesus. That is quite the barrage. We almost have our railguns back. We're doing okay, though. Alright. Back up to here. I don't think he's gonna be able to get out of the way of this one, but we'll try. We will try. He's still got a shield, at least. There we go, there we go. It's almost gone! We're gonna have to move up to the sides pretty soon here. See what we can hit. Oh, god damn it! Alright, well... That's fine. Let's get out of the way. We almost got the railguns. Go, 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 go! Ooh, jeez. Okay, let's leech that. 
Start moving up again. I'm guessing he's gonna do another f cycle down here. Oh, no, he's going back up to mine lane. Okay, so you gonna stay back in- No, actually, you know what? I'm gonna keep you here just to be kind of a distraction. Let's see what we can do. Okay, here we go. Oh, nice! The leech drone took it down. Oh, and there goes another one! Is that his mine layer? I think it is. I think he's a sitting duck right Oh, here they come. Okay. Hit him. Nice. Good start. Get him again. Oh, missed it that time. Damn. Okay. Uh, I'll tell you what. He's gonna do the laser again, so we need to move everybody behind this. Uh, you need to start targeting him. You need to start targeting him while you move backward. There we go. Try to ram him one more time before we get out of here, and then we're gonna move back. Out of the way, out of harm's way here. Come on, keep going, keep going. We're still dealing damage here. In fact, the railgun, let's try the railgun again. And let's leech this. Got the shot, nice! He's only got one more of those lasers, too. This is good. Let's get back in the range of this guy. He's nearly dead. He is nearly finished off. There he goes! Very good. Alright. Back in, back into position, right in front. Oh, that's new! That's very new. What are we targeting? What are we targeting? Here we go. That one right there. Whatever the hell that is. Take it out. Take it out immediately! I think he might be charging forward, actually, so let's get over here. Oh, no, nope, there he's going. Okay. Oh, shit. This isn't good. He's just trying to crush us, man. Alright, out of the way. Excellent. That's good, that's good. We're doing a lot of damage to this thing. He's coming back. Uh, okay. And, oh, move. Only one in the way. And that's another section done! Oh my god! We're doing good things here. Go for the center, maybe. Can I stay there? I think I can. Let's leech this. Oh my god, the damage is real. Alright, he's going all the way up to the front now. Not sure what to make of this. Did he crush one of us? Did he crush one of us? What happened? No, he's not. Oh, God, okay. <laughs> that freaked me out. Oh, shit. Oh, man, I was so sure. But we were donezo. Alright, there goes another missile launch. That's done. Oh, my God. We're hurting him. We're laying it down, laying down the pain. There goes another. Oh, God, alright. Here comes the barrage again. We're gonna move out of the way here. Keep your, keep your targets going, boys. Leech drones on that. Oh, man. That is insane. We almost have the railgun shots, too. They're so close. Oh, get out of the way, out of the way. Move, 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 move. All the way back. Fortunately, our, uh, oh, God, as soon as he lands, we might be able to deal some serious damage here. And they're all hitting that, right? Yes. He needs to get up closer, though. Let's do this. Let's go for the railgun shots. Oh, shit. I think I missed it. Whoa! Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? Just a giant beam of death out of nowhere. Oh, no. Oh, God. We gotta hit him hard. We gotta hit him hard right now. That railgun shot, though. Face tank it! Go, baby, go! Yes! The blinding light and deafening explosion fade out and a peaceful silence settles over Omec Prime. With the monstrous battle machine destroyed, the way is clear for you to return to Spaceship Mercury. Finally leave this planet. Collected parts prove operational enough for Spaceship Mercury to take off. You leave your escort vehicles behind. Thank everyone for their help and load your MCV onto the spaceship. One can only guess what will happen to Omec Prime now that its supposed keepers have been destroyed, but you have no time to worry about it. The next mission awaits. The days of driving a convoy are over. The endless war of land and our awaits. Oh, yeah! Look at that. We did it. Spaceship Mercury loaded up! Sweet. We did it! Hooray! First victory! I was on easy mode with maybe one of the strongest MCVs, but you know. I'm feeling pretty good now. All right, thank you very much, guys, for watching. We're uh, we're not gonna watch the credits roll here. We're gonna go ahead and jump through this actually, if we can. Uh, no, we can't. All right. Well, anyway, thanks for watching.
We'll see you in the next episode.